The, the, the leader of the Irish Nationalist okay. Sinn Féin party yesterday, uh, that, they did that nearly four decades after, and this is why I'm shocked that he did it, four decades after his great uncle, who he was extremely close to, mm -hmm. was assassinated by the IRA, yeah, that was of course Lord Mountbatten that was blown up. Uh, on his uh, boat. It marked the first meeting in Ireland mm. between uh, Sinn Féin and the royal family. Uh, Charles and Camilla arrived at the University of Ireland in Gal yesterday for a four-day visit to the country. Mike Barnacle, this is what's so shocking to me is, and I've got quite a few friends who are from Northern Ireland and their sympathies lie. Uh, with uh, the Republicans, uh, not the same kind of Republicans we have right. here, right. Uh, members of Sinn Féin who still uh, will not forgive some members of Sinn Féin for shaking hands with the Queen. Yeah. So uh, I think one of the things that's so shocking to me is that Jerry Adams has been able to do what Yasser Arafat could never do. He couldn't take Bill Clinton's peace deal in 2000 because he knew he would be killed. It's pretty remarkable that Jerry Adams is able to do this and shake hands now with Prince Charles and live to tell about it in Northern Ireland. He is a strong man, a strong leader with a tough background. It's, it's pretty shocking to me. Now my friends will also say, when I say I can't believe he's still alive, they'll go, eh, story's not over yet. Well, like, read the end of Michael Collins, they'll tell me. You know, Joe, I've been going and covering Northern Ireland since 1973 and 1974. Two of the more shocking assassinations to take place were the one you referred to, Lord Mountbatten on his boat off the Irish yeah. coast. The other was Erie Neve, who was quite close to uh, Margaret Thatcher. And yeah. when those uh, events they occurred... They almost killed Thatcher. Yes, that was the objective, I think. But yeah. the, when those events occurred, you'd think, well, this is never going to end. This is going to be ad infinitum, the troubles as they call him yeah. in Northern Ireland. Jerry Adams has a foot in both camps. He has a foot in the Republican camp. Some people claim that he was a member of the IRA. Jerry right. continually denies it. I have other suspicions. Yeah. But he now is a superb politician and has been able to, as you see yesterday, shaking hands with Prince Charles, he has bridged a gap that was unbridgeable. I think it's remarkable. You know, 15 years Mike, ago. for a lot of younger people who remember the trouble. 1970s. Remember the bombings that 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 would happen. It seemed every few Christmas times at Harrods in London in the 80s. Uh, it it's still this is a remark. Anybody that says that peace can't come to a land needs to look and see what's happened in Northern Ireland. Uh, people are angry on both sides, and yet the peace still holds. The anger is still there, uh, but it's far it's far different today. Belfast is a different city than it was 15 to 20 years okay, ago. Chair. All right.